Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a Pisces moon, Pisces sun and uh, Pisces rising or Pisces sun, Pisces moon and uh, Pisces rising weekly tarot reading for June 17th to a June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. Oops. And we can jump uh, straight away uh, into the spread. Okay. So the first card which represents a uh, Pisces topic for the week, that will be the Tree of Swords. Followed by the second card, which stands for the uh, challenges that Pisces needs to overcome for throughout the week. That will be the King of Cups. Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the Pisces week. That is going to be uh, the World card. And the last one, uh, it is the Devil, which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Pisces. All right. So uh, once again, topic is going to be the Tree of Swords followed by the um, challenges, which is uh, the King of Cups. Afterwards, it is the World card standing for the positive aspect. And the final one, it is the Devil, which stands for the Guidance. All right, Pisces, so um, just from the overview of these cards, it does look like that um, a certain despondent situation in between you and a person, it could be in between you and your wife or in between you and your husband, co colleague or a boss, you know, uh, someone that you are kind of like having a very big difficulty, you know, to um, get along with, uh, it's uh, no longer being present. That is because uh, you are going to have some sort of a, um, how can I say, leverage that you will have, that you can use uh, against them. Uh, mainly this leverage is going to be that you are to realize that this person needs you more than you actually needs them, okay? And um, here we have the topic, Tree of Swords. So the Tree of Swords is about recognizing the painful truth. It is about, uh, you know, how can I describe it? Um, acknowledging that how can I place it that uh, you actually need to do something about improving your personal circumstances. Now I'm going to try to give you a few examples so I can get my points across more clearer. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's say that you are in a relationship, all right, and uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend does stupid things, things that hurts you, okay, and they are getting getting away with it and uh, realizing you know how you sit or the, the the painful truth there it is to uh, recognize that this simply it's it, it doesn't help you in any way so something drastic needs to happen in order to um, improve your circumstances 
meaning that well it is involved with ultimatum it could be as well with a colleague of yours and as soon as you direct that ultimatum toward uh, this person realizing that either the things are gonna happen in a way that benefits you or in a way that you are happy or either the things ain't gonna happen at all you know as soon as you obtain that standpoint and you direct this um this ultimatum then uh, it seems that you're going to settle the score. It's, it's all about that, settling the score, making this person aware, you know, that they cannot proceed with this kind of an attitude that they do have until uh, this very moment. The accompanied card here, that will be the Two of Cups formation. It is a uh, active enemy, uh, active neutrals, excuse me, that we have. We're definitely talking about cooperation, probably a relationship, a... Um, like I said, cooperation in uh, in business endeavors as well. It could be that you have found out that your partner in business is um, hiding money, you know, and you confront them with that, slam your fistful on the table and say, either you're gonna follow my rules from now on or we are not gonna be partners at all. And this person will want to stay into the business. So it's pretty much how you are to dictate the rules from uh from now on or you know it could be um your girlfriend like i said or your boyfriend for that matter which does not pay much attention to you they are uh, or it's kind of like they don't give you much of a much of their time and this relationship it is only a relationship when they like it to be when when they are feeling up to it you know and as you direct the ultimatum look we are either going to be in a productive relationship or we ain't gonna be in a relationship at all then they are going to realize how much they got to lose and that will be the challenge itself here which is the king of cups so that is the person that you are gonna direct the ultimatum toward so what they're gonna try to do is to mild your fire or rather like to milder the repercussions that this ultimatum is going to have or to avoid it if they can uh, pleading that this is going to ruin their life the usual story you know when uh, how you can do this to them uh, they are, basically they will try to uh, take advantage of your kindness when it comes to uh, this uh, uh, this situation and to touch your emotions and your feelings hoping that uh, you are going to have, I would say, mercy toward them and allow them to do whatever they are doing until uh, this very moment. In some extreme um, situations, they may try to make you feel guilty for that you want to be happy, okay? The accompanied uh, card here is going to be uh, the uh, judgment card. So the formation, it is a... Uh, passive enemies that we have and uh, it will be very bad if you believe to what they tell you that they're gonna change with the judgment here to the king of cups they ain't gonna change i mean there is no such thing either things are gonna happen the way you want them to happen or they're not gonna happen at all just like i said here with the first uh, couple of cards because the third option is gonna be like uh, please don't leave me i promise i'm gonna change no, I, they, they ain't gonna change, at least not here. So let's, for example, let's say that your husband is drinking a lot, right? So you shoot the ultimatum that either they quit drinking or straight away, you know, just in this uh, moment and they start attending to, for example, anonymous alcoholics or you basically file for a divorce. That is just for an example. And they say, please don't do that. You know, do you know how difficult it is for me? I'm going to change. I just need some time. They ain't going to change. It's just they, the, the, the transition needs to happen drastically here. So on the positive aspect, um, this week is going to be um, here with the world card is going to be, I don't know how to express it in English. Well, basically a, the week where you're pretty much going to settle the score or rather like you're going to know how things are going to unfold from now on are you going to be in the same job you know are you going to be with the same person or is the things are going to happen in between you and that person and so on and so forth now how positive that is going to be i don't know you know because for some of you it could be that you cannot be with this person but at least you are going to know that is the positivity at least you're not going to daydream anymore at least you are not going to waste any time trying to do something that it is doomed not to happen 
or it is doomed to failure from the very start uh, from the very start of it or if it is to happen then positively uh, is going to be a, a very very long lasting one if not a um, how can i describe it um, to a lifetime additionally to that should your situation doesn't really happen so let's say i'm gonna file for a divorce and uh, your husband say well you know i i simply can't quit so do what you think is best so if you file for a divorce you need to know that a new perspective is to emerge very very soon with the world card and that probably speaks for a new better suitor the accompanied card here that will be the seven of pentacles formation it is a passive supporters and uh, the seven of pentacles to the world it uh, does point that the next or from now on as you settle the score as you make up your mind and you stick behind that mind uh, from now on it is unlikely that you are going to allow for yourself to be placed in the same situation as you have been pre ultimatum pre the ultimatum here that you have shoot out to that person either your colleague or um, either you know someone uh, into your surrounding it could be as well an ultimatum toward your boss you know you go there and you say you either raise my salary or i quit because it's simply what i do is way above the pay grade you give me okay and um Either they're going to do it or not. And if they don't pay you more, it means that there is no chance whatsoever for the lifetime you to raise in the hierarchy of this company. And obviously, it's better for you to seek your expand into career somewhere else. So um, guidance wise, we do have the uh, devil card and what the devil card here points is that you are going to have the power to alter your outcomes you're going to have the power to influence the situation use that power which speaks that you can be that very valuable asset that the company cannot afford to lose right now or you can be uh this <clears throat> how can i place it um a part of a relationship that your partner doesn't have the mindset to leave right now and you can use and in some cases you know abuse that power to like i said alter the outcome and to align it based on your um wishful thinking if i may express that way or based on your expectations the accompanied card here that is going to be the high priestess formation it is a, a passive friends that we have and it is what another confirmation that should you take advantage of your power whatever you create with this power is going to be long lasting is going to be maybe for a, a lifetime additionally to that with the high priestess here guys it it is very unlikely that you're going to abuse with the power given to you throughout the week uh, but more likely you are going to direct it more constructively than destructively so the way i take it it's like you know you is you endured 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 you know the mistreatment into your relationship let's say and you saying you know enough is enough and i don't care you know if that relationship will move on forward from here or, or no you know i want to be happy i want to be treated like a human being i want to be you know i treat it like a woman or treat it like a man it doesn't matter and you like i said confront that person and uh how can i describe it uh from there you can dictate the rules for of that relationship for example as you move on forward in the future so that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for a June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.